my name is Whitney and today our book talk is going to be over Charlotte's Web. So I absolutely love this book and this book is written by E.B. White and it did win a Newbery Honor Award and so this book is a really good read. Um, it is a chapter book um, but it's it's a really good book and its lexical category is 680L which is going to equate to about fourth grade reading level. So it's not that bad. Um, it does have about, it has 184 pages, which I don't want you students to get freaked out because it sounds like a lot, but there are several pages that are filled with um, images. So one, Page right there has um, a picture on it so not every page is filled up um, but this book is about friendships and unlikely friendships um, with some of them and so um, as you read the book you will really um, learn about the importance of having good friends um, there are some instances where there are some uh, bad friendships um, shown in here but for the most part they are all good friendships and a couple of those friendships are between um, Fern which is our little lady right here and Wilbur which is our main character so Fern is a girl on a farm with her family and one day her dad goes out to kill one of the pigs to provide food for their family and so she gets her heart broken and she begs her dad and she saves Wilbur. And so because of that, they become very close friends. And as they both get older, um, the dynamic of their relationship and their family changes. And so uh, Wilbur has to adjust to life whenever Fern is growing older. And he is faced with a lot of um, difficult times, and he was very fearful at one moment. Um, but because of a new and uh, lovely friendship, he um, can get through some of those times. So, one quote that I'm going to read from the book is, I don't want to die, screamed Wilbur, throwing himself to the ground. You shall not die, said Charlotte briskly. What? Really? cried Wilbur. Who's going to save me? I am, said Charlotte. So that's all you're getting out of me so far. But as you read this book, I want you to think about why friendships are important. And I also want you to think about the overall theme of this book. And so we're later on going to do an activity once we've read this book. And I want you to um, tell me the overall theme. And I will ask you to take some quotes to support that theme. And we're also going to make several character charts. But right now, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about the book. And I hope that you enjoy it. And I also hope that you have... A great rest of the day. So, bye guys.